Hey, what's up guys? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here on a rainy day in Denver, Colorado, and um, I had some time to do a video. So someone requested a video talking about um, genetics of mushrooms. So I'll do my best to explain um, the mushroom genetics from my point of view and kind of the, the dilemma that's happening in today's mycology with um, phylogeny and genetics. So um, I think two of the main points of genetics in mushrooms is um, a phenotype and a genotype. So um, a genotype is the complete genetic makeup of the organism. So in, in the case of mushrooms, that's going to be the genetic makeup of the mycelium which is the organism. So a phenotype, on the other hand, is the physical expression of the genes that are represented in the genotype. So a genotype are all the possible various combinations of the genes, and the phenotype is the physical expression of those genes. So that's important because there are some recessive traits in mushrooms. For instance, um, an albino species is going to be recessive. So there can be um, a mushroom that carries that recessive trait, but it has a phenotype that is not albino. So traditionally in um, phylogeny or um, the, the ordering and naming of different mushroom species, um, up until recently in history, all of those um, phylogenetic processes were done by phenotype, so observing the fruiting body of the mushroom. But in today's world, with the advent of um, DNA sequencing and the, the interests of mycology, um, there is this dilemma between classifying fungus or new mushrooms based on their phenotype, the physical expression, or the genotype, which is the genetic sequence that you can't really differentiate that without using highly technological equipment um, to extract the DNA, sequence those DNA, um, and then store them in some kind of a genetic bank. So um, that's kind of the, the current state of affairs. And I believe that it's very important to get this information out there so the the future of mycology can go either in one direction or the other or incorporate both. Um, but there are, you know, real life examples of some conflicts that are coming about because of this um, discrepancy. So um, I was speaking to a fellow YouTuber, Oak and Spore. Um, shout out to you guys about possibly um, shipping some cultures over to New Zealand. So New Zealand has very strict regulations on their importation of uh, fungi and mycelium. And one problem that, um, that their company is having is that they can't find the proper um, Pleuratus ostreatus strain. So if this was 50 years ago and the Pleuratus ostreatus was just classified based on its phenotype, the physical expression of the mushroom, then they would have no problems importing, you know, a, a phenotype of Pleuratus ostreatus. However, nowadays, um, all the cultures that are entering their country are being screened genetically. So they are searching for this very specific genotype which in my opinion is gonna be very difficult to find because working with mushrooms, you find out that they adapt very quickly to their environment, to their substrate, and um, they're, they're very fast learners. So in, in, unless you have a cryopreserved sample or a native species that has been isolated for years and years, it's gonna be very difficult to find um, the exact genotype that is listed on their acceptable um, organisms for importation. So that's one example of, you know, a complication between classifying an organism based on its phenotype, but regulating it 
based on its genotype. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, I, I'll be doing more videos on this in the future. Um, it, it's very expensive to extract DNA and sequence it. However, the prices are coming down and it's a dream of mine to get some of that equipment. Um, it's kind of early on in our business, so we can't really support that. However, I'm trying to educate the public because I feel like there's a lot of implications in the future um, and just getting the word out is really important. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, if you're looking for clean cultures. We've got plate cultures and I just QC'd about 12 different varieties that I'm gonna be putting up um, later this week. So pay attention and check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. Until next time, much love.